In this quick tutorial video, we're going to show you how you can use BIME's dashboard interactivity options to offer different views of your dashboard to your dashboard viewers. Looking at this dashboard, we have two queries. We have the first one, which is last week's sessions compared with the previous week's sessions in a KPI. And then we have sessions by year and week in a uh, line chart. Let's just take a look at these two queries and see what's inside them. Uh, in this one here, we have two measures. The first is a date range calculated measure, which is based on last week. And the second measure is another date range calculated measure, but this time based on two weeks in the past. So that's our first query. And our second query here is a simple sessions by year and week in columns. So what if we wanted to uh, give our dashboard viewers the option to change from a week level to a month level? We can do this using a various, various different um, uh, dashboard objects that can be found from this menu here. So first off, we're going to apply a change measure. We're going to apply it to last week's sessions and previous week's sessions. And let's just move this over here. So essentially what we want to do is change our last week's sessions to last month sessions and our previous week sessions to previous month sessions. So we now have this um, query comparing last month with previous month. Next up, we want to uh, modify this query to change it from year and week to year and month. So this would involve using a change attribute. Apply it to week like so. Let's move this down here again. And in this case, we're going to change from week to month. And we'll see this query update accordingly. So this is our month view. We can now bookmark this view for our dashboard viewers by adding a bookmark object. I'm going to create a bookmark from the current state and call this month view like so. So now we can, if we reset this bookmark, we'll go back to our initial default view like that. And by, again, clicking on the month view, the different change measures, change attributes will be applied. So what we might want to do, in fact, is instead of uh, leaving the change measures and change attributes here, we could create another, uh, well, in fact, what we'll do is we'll edit this bookmark here, and we'll create another bookmark in the week view, and let's just add default there, like so. So we now have two buttons, one for the month view, one for the week view. And once that's in place, we can hide the change measures and the change attribute uh, widgets, leaving just the bookmarks here. So your viewers will see just these two buttons, which they can click on to switch between the two different levels, the month view and the week view. 